unpopular opinion this might get me hate personal development edition but your nighttime routine is actually more important than that's why right before you fall asleep there's this moment of trance where your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind can really communicate and this is basically what you're meditation you don't need to think about it the more and the more you think about it, the more you're actually blocking it and you put resistance in. so when you are meditating the key is to quiet your mind and say nothing but the more you say nothing the faster you're going to come to you because there's no more resistance you get it Perfect meditation seat. Your chest is lifted and broad. Your chin is dropped. 
Now you ask, what to do with your hand? A mudra means attitude or seal. Technically, this is a mudra. But these days, a mudra comes to represent hand placement. Placing your palms face down encourages introspection. Palms face up can bring answers and guidance. Index finger to the thumb for Gyan Mudra stimulates higher perception. The ring and pinky finger to the thumb, Pran Mudra, increases energy. The two middle fingers to the thumb, Appana Mudra, helps release unwanted negative energy. And my favorite, Gyan Mudra, one palm in the other, stimulates peace. I highly recommend getting this little deck of mudras. They come in uh, little cards, and each of them are color-coded to the various chakras teaching you the mudras. It's a very intricate science, after all. Good luck in your experiment. I want you to consider this thought. Whenever you put your focus, energy, and attention on it, it expands. Life attracts life. That is the law of attraction, guys. That is the basic law of the universe. Whenever you want your life, personal, relationship, money, whenever you put your focus and energy on it, you can actually attract it. So, sounds woo woo, but let me give you an example. I started real estate at age 21. I was an agent ever. I had a go. I wanted to become a millionaire, which is far fetched for me. I'm going to get out with no money. Given. This is the book that changed my life. Go read this and I promise you, whatever you want in your life, you're going to get it. Here's what they don't tell you. You think you can control your thoughts. You can't. Don't even choose them. If you could choose them, you'd have to have them before you had them. It's just a memory making its appearance. And they can be super random. Just because a thought shows up doesn't mean that it has to mean anything. Be curious about it, but you don't have to identify with it. With practice, you can just let it pass on by. I know it's hard.
to hype up the turn on bus every time I get a new follower and a new, and a new share. And I mean, it's actually getting kind of annoying, but I'm sort of addicted to it. I just, I, I need to know. I bring it with me everywhere. I set it up when I'm in the workshop working. Even when I'm watching TV. Yep, even when I'm exercising. Still going. So if you want the bump to turn on buzz, I mean, I guess you're hitting the follow button, I mean, it's just it won't stop. say to the spiritual community but you cannot say to like the
at 3 a.m.? No. So imagine it's like the internet. When too many people try to get onto one website, what happens? The website crashes. But if you're the only one, or maybe one of the few who are trying to get onto the internet, it works fine, perfectly, even faster. It's the same thing with manifesting in these hours. Take advantage of the time. Your affirmations will only get you so far. This is what you need to do every day to pull in what you actually want. For 17 seconds, all the rest of January, I dare you to do this with me multiple times a day. So close your eyes. What is it like to already have the very thing you have dreamed of for so long? Come along with it. You are it. It is your life. Claim it. Breathe it. Be it. Come back and do this with me and let's have it. you should not meditate. The reason you should not meditate is because once you begin to meditate, you begin to lose your sense of self. Who you thought you were, you will begin to transcend. You will begin to lose old habits, old identities. You will begin to look at the world in a totally different perspective. So if you're not ready to lose everything that you thought you were, if you're not ready to look at the world in a totally different perspective, if you're not ready to be called crazy, if you're not ready to lose your mind, Fuck it.